One of the things I get to combat is that every time I come back to this game, it's almost like the last session was in some kind of fugue state. I've gotta like, unpack and re-remember what the fuck even happened last time each time. Oh yeah, I'm all set for my inventory upgrade. I think, that's, yeah. I probably have what I need, there might be other specific things. Alright. The Dead Adam shop is open. How long does it stay open? Stock. Still, he's a friend. I have a bad feeling. Better hurry. <sighs> but I'm dying and I need to sleep. <laughs> How do I juggle all these things at once? Motherfucker. Alright. Pop one of these fuckos and get into bed. Why does my movement speed feel- why does my stuff feel weird? My DPI weird or my move- I was like turning the wrong speed. Uh, dream time. How you doing? Well, yes, I would like to loot these in Dreamsville. Thank you. No? Alright, well I have peanut. I have immunity boosters. I have one bullet. That's not uh, but no I have nothing to fire with ten matches and some marbles This is like all I'm equipped with so Let's Fire it up Okay And it's all of my bound. No, it's not. It's some of my bound. Notkin, Grace, Changeling, other Changeling. In the back, we've got Sticky and Murky. All right. Which one of you is Clara? They're all expecting a train carrying medicine and doctors. Fools. They honestly think a train can fix this. Like hell it'll come. This is actually kind of funny. Hey, can I can I copy your homework? Of course. <laughs> of course she'd say that. That might indicate who she is. I don't know. What was the task? The rules of life, as always. Don't you know it all in advance? Want a gingerbread? Sure. Why are you so grown up, anyway? How'd they let you get into school? Why was Daniel punished? He told her she doesn't know how to play and only ruins it all. Wow. Bold of him. Can't talk to any of the others, just just her. Deal. What's going on? Oh. Daniel's in timeout. Lara, what'd you do? That's a strangely shaped hopscotch. Specifically that part. Like breaks the the conventions. Wow. Aren't we preparing for evacuation? You've fallen asleep. This is the most l important lesson of your life, and you've fallen asleep. The most crucial lesson. Children, what do we say to Artemy? How will we punish him? Will he stand in the corner like Daniel? Gravel, what's wrong with you? Children, Artemy fell asleep. Though he has disgraced this class, we must continue. Today, I'll teach you the right way to eat a person. For a woman, start with the softest flesh. For a man, the internal organs. And please, stay away from anyone with red hair. Their flesh is venomous. Lara. Children. Life's rules are simple. Everyone for themselves. 
Everyone's shirt is closer to their skin. It's neither your headache nor your piece of cake. Homo homini lupus est. You have neither mothers nor fathers. M murder unseen. Repeat after me. I've got a question. Ask questions with your hand raised if you have any hands left, I mean. Why is Daniel being punished? Daniel was punished for in insolence. Children? Which of you can tell us why Daniel deserves punishment? Children, tell us what awaits him. Oblivion? Children, to survive, to remain not resolute, you must heed this lesson. Remember, history is written by winners. There is no truth. The truth is whatever you think it is. Daniel's mumbling from his corner. I think he just said those are Berkeley's ideas. If you have a friend, learn to betray them. If you have a lover, disappoint them first, then betray them and leave them behind. Children, I'm leaving. I'm teaching you how to survive. What was your homework? Hmm. Is that last part true, I wonder? Divination. Laura, you are about to kill a person. You'll be executed for it. What does it mean? Daniel. Oh. I guess that's the end of that. And no, sleep has occurred. Thanks, game. Alright, back to actually trying to sleep. I'm about to die of hunger. I am the cure for the self. Okay. Let's use this. Drives up my thirst. Hey! Yeah, I saw this in the patch notes. They made it so you can pour this stuff out. So now when I, I, I assume when I get mucky water, I don't have to u lose the bottle now. Which is nice. You can now pour stuff out instead of just drinking it. Or, through, or dumping the entire bottle by, by just dropping it on the floor. Which is nice. Hunger is hard. And yeah, all the, diff all the difficulty sliders are in this game, but I don't really plan on using them. But we can take a look. Those happened a few patches ago, I think. Yeah. You can't even look at what the settings are. You have to turn off intended difficulty. Pathologic 2 follows the events of a catastrophe. Game difficulty is one of the techniques that helps us tell this story. By turning intended difficulty off, you can tweak the balance of the game. However, we do not recommend doing this on the first playthrough. Pathologic 2 is intended to be almost unbearable. So you, you, can, you can turn off the intended difficulty and you can make the game easier or harder. Which I could see some people doing the other one eventually when they're just like... When they're so good at economizing everything that they need to like move the sliders to make it even more make sense for them anymore or something. How are we doing on time? The dead item shop is still open. This Reuben thing is still happening. I don't know if I can reasonably deal with either of those things. Uh, managing time is hard. And I want to increase my inventory. <laughs> I don't want to go uh, deal with other things. Yeah. There's my schmouter. At least I have another schmouter. So I've got two so far. One of them I've used already. And we'll see if I regret that or not. My infection is really fucking high. Can I self-treat infection? Don't I basically just have to use these pills? Because I... I don't know if I can self-diagnose. Like, I don't know if Artemy can use diagnostic uh, practices on himself. And if he can't, then I think that I can't identify what the best thing is to take to improve my situation. And if that's the case, I don't really know what best to do about that. And of course, these are the tools I need to treat my patients, so it's not great to be spending them. I can't talk to her. Whoa! Wasn't my health just full? 
Oh my god, are, th are these muggers just hanging out right outside the fucking door? God damn it. They really run for it. Alright. Yeah. Exhausted? But it's so shiny. Alright. Uh, this is a roller coaster of a game to play because it's, there's so much going on at once. And there's a lot of challenges. And it's a time management game. But also, there's just so many mechanics that it can actually be. Physically difficult to keep them all in your head and remember them all. So when I think about like infection and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, my inf when, when I'm infected like this, like, what do I know about how to treat the infection, or do I know what to treat the infection? And to some extent, there's the fuckery of the fact that I've played two different pathologic games now, so I potentially have conflicting information in my head, where I might be misremembering this game because of the other game or something. I want to spend as little time as possible in this district. I say as I walk directly into shit. There. Fuck that. I didn't like that. Jesus. It went poking its head over like it's a fucking T-Rex looking for me. In Jurassic Park. Uh. Fuck! What the f- What the fuck, man? <laughs> this game needs to chill its shit. Uh, I'm not in a good position to deal with that area. <sighs> Guys are just fucking hiding over here. I can see that. Don't think I can't see that you're just explicitly hiding. Tempting to trade. Half expected to get to him and be like, he has a schmouter. Because of course he does. How are we doing on I have one match. Shit. Okay. Just gotta hustle. Jesus Christ, the path that, that that cloud took. I couldn't really tell for sure if it just was like... They programmed it to have a crazy, wacky, S-curve path just to screw with me. Or if it was literally chasing me. So if they're chasing me like that, like... Boy, is that hard for me to mess with. Hey guys. Sure hope the district I'm about to step, set foot in isn't also sick right now. They are just punching the shit out of that sick person. That's how you fight the plague. You literally fight it. You find the closest infected person and you deck them in the face. Tell me this isn't infected. It's not. Okay. I'm half dead. Oops. Ah. I tried shift clicking because of Minecraft. I swear to god. Okay. I think I just gotta panic and take one of these. Which also hurts my health more, so I need to take these things before sleep is the better time. I'll have to use a tourniquet. This is the better one, right? I can't go back to sleep. I've lost time already. Alright, so that's- you can fight infection by just chugging whatever drugs you want. I should have done that before sleep. If I end up having to replay the day, that's what we'll do. Fuck. Is he busy You're looting the body? Yes, he is. Mother- ugh.
Basically every direction is like actively dangerous, so that's good. Had myself a drink. What? What was that musical cue? Oh, was it you guys? Can I take a break from dying for a second? Hi guys. That's Doc Ruben Nakar. Your father's false student. You know him. Tell me what he does at night. I can tell you what he doesn't do. Sleep, as far as I can tell. Tell me. What does he do during the night? Where does he hide? Ask him yourself during the day. We've, we've done this conversation before, haven't we? I think, yeah. What does he do at night? The Kantange are worried. Your friend is doing evil. The blame, as always, is will be pinned, on, pinned to us. We are dwindling by the hour as it is. Mere hundreds left now. I'll take care of him. He's my friend after all, not yours. I think this is just the same encounter again. Maybe, maybe I haven't done it yet in this timeline. Because of some rewinds that have happened that I don't remember which ones involved which dialogue and stuff. That's always hard to keep track of. I can't trade with you in any way, so it doesn't matter whether or not I need that thread, which I don't know if I do, because I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I feel like I have thread back at home. Like I bought more. But I don't remember. Okay, this day just started. I can't be this low on health. That's what the infection does. Like when it gets higher, it just decays your health at an insane rate. Like, in this case, we found that it decays your health, where, like, it just takes out half of it. So, like, I can't even let my infection meter become, like, one-third full, let alone, like, any... Like, the rest of the meter was practically irrelevant at that point. Hi, friend. Yes, rotten food. You can sell rotten food. And a candle, for whatever reason. Alright, any sch schmouter. It costs 40. Well, of course, that's mandatory for me to get, so I just need to figure out if I can get enough things to make it there. Six. I'm off by two. I'll have to trade the blood off, right? I'll get more today at the store. Alright, so I'll just have to dump out a couple bottles. Or drink them, whatever. Split? Oh, split the stack. Schmatter is easily the most valuable thing in the game, right? So like, whatever it costs, you go for the schmatter. I'm not gonna get any of this food, unfortunately. Or the drugs I could use to treat myself and so on, but schmatter can cure a dying person. And I currently have two. I did not expect that. So I've had three so far. I might be able to keep my list of people alive. But yeah, for, for, for further profits, we're going to have to wait for tomorrow's dead item shop, I suppose. And see what happens there. <sighs> At least I can probably say it was worth the risk. Is this going to be Plague District 2? Because that'll suck. But like... I don't know what's going on with Ruben. He might be in danger. He might be bad. But one way or another, I got a second schmatter out of this, so... It's hard not to say that this was worth it on some level. Oh, my immunity is so fucked. And that's definitely another Plague District. Thanks. What did I just get an update for? Khan is in danger. Thanks. Alright, well I know where Khan is. In fact, he's here? Yeah, the nutshell. I'll visit him from the station, which might not be infected, because I don't know if it, if it can be infected. I don't know, I have all day to deal with Khan. But he is right here, it's faster to treat him here than to come back. But I don't have anything to treat him with, do I? 
Oh, the morphine. Wait. Not the morphine. You treat them with... Uh, other thing. You treat... Uh, let's see. Use... You treat people not with morphine, but with... Uh... The immunity boosters, that's what it was called. I don't know, maybe neomycinium would work, technically. For, for the kind of blind boost, basically. I got my pockets full of water. All right. Just nervously sorting things now as if that's going to improve my situation. Uh, he's right here, I might try to visit him, but if I try to visit him... I'm t probably prolonging my time in the plague area, which means imp worsening my plague situation. I don't have anything to on my character right now that'll help with the plague situation. But if I, yeah, I'll go to the nutshell and then I'll run into the field. And I'll have to hope the station's not infected. There's not, there's not people here, so presumably... I would hope that it doesn't have the sand pest. But I don't know. It is highlightable. But the cemetery, you know, I don't think it can have the sand pest. You can highlight that. So yeah, I'll try to go for the nutshell, and I'll run to the station, and then I'll try to get to stock via the back road. And that'll also let me go to my own home and upgrade my inventory, I suppose. So there's a few upsides to this. Uh, does that mean... <sighs> Stock situation is over, whatever that means. Uh... I mean, it doesn't say he's dead, I suppose. I've got that going for me, so I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I'm required to go back to the hospital next. Which means going through the plague districts even more. The upside is I might get something I can use to treat myself at the hospital, but really you're supposed to use it on the people, so... In fact, I think that every day we're gonna have some of what you need to do your goal at the hospital each day, but not enough to finish off your inventory, so like you have to supplement it with your own, your own stuff, basically. Yeah. I always just feel desperate and scared. And that's a stretched ass texture on the inside of that doorway. Hi, Con. Interesting how none of the bad stuff gets in here. Anyway. Prophylaxis. I came here for no reason. Cool. Hooray. I'll have to come back with the right supplies. I need these people to not go sick. Khan's apparently the treat person treat for today, and I'm gonna do it correctly this time. Thankfully, Sticky didn't get sick, so I got lucky in that I gave them the wrong thing, but it didn't ma end up mattering. It needs one of these parts. I might have one of those back at home if I want to do that and see what they see if it might do something cool. If nothing else, I might keep them entertained, and maybe they'll stay in the house instead of going out and getting sick. Yes, you're guarding this boundary. That means that it's not sick out here. Thank God. Hey, immunity boosters that I can't trade for. Probably should have saved for that. Yep, I traded for morphine and a bullet. Which I, I can spend the bullet, but I probably should have... ...waited for an opportunity to trade for an immunity booster. But that would require me to be able to remember every loot table at the same time. Oh god. Let's just go down here. A little more distance between me and the bad stuff. My screen is flashing red because of how dying I am. Haha. <laughs> I might have to go back to sleep. A 
it's really it's really funny to me that I've seen on the internet multiple complaints now about this game and about how the in for people who played the intro and, and, and like complain about this game being a walking simulator and I'm like <laughs> you don't understand how demanding this game gets and you never will because you stopped it is admittedly a slow burn the intro in fact in my case like there was still resources to manage and like hunger was a problem and stuff like that so like it was it, it, it still got it was it was hard before then but like the plague didn't properly start in my playthrough until like almost somewhere in the ballpark of like 25 episodes deep which is admittedly that's a long time for the plague that the game's named after to start but it's a lot of but then you realize it's like a bunch of like almost hand holding by the game's p p part by trying to like let you learn the setting and the people and some of the mechanics before the plague starts because it's going to destroy you once it does I've decided I won't bother you anymore. Where's the bull? Bekara, he went into the step. He said he'll be back. He said. Wait, today? Don't worry, Kuoken. Your Buha will return, unlike me. Listen, what's your name? Nara. Nara Na. So you don't remember me at all. You're an herb bride, Earth's flesh. I never had much contact with your kind. What matters is, you got used to me. Now you won't be so scared when the time comes. It will be easier for you. So I have no regrets. Oh, so have no regrets. I'm tired of your riddles, what do you want? Are you sure you want to know? Yeah, yeah, tell me already. You will have to kill me at some point. I told you, I'm yours, Yagashin. What? Don't be sad. And don't be frightened when it happens. We do not fear death. To Melda, we are indifferent to it. But it will help you understand. So that's what our connection is. And then it just fades out. That's the end of that conversation. Alright, apparently my bull is fucked off into the hills. And apparently we'll just return. It's on it's on a spirit journey. When I planned out this route, I wasn't planning on arriving here with zero health, but here I am. The and I no one even punched me. Walking around. No one even punched me. Your place is all dirty. Oh, I never went on the thing she wanted to go on, did I? I... <laughs> How do you keep up with any of this? You don't, is the answer. Uh... Look who's talking. When's the last time you took a bath? I don't have time. Too busy. Me too, little one. I got a new friend. A talking friend. That's good. It's always nice to have a friend. She's a secret friend. I don't know why, but she doesn't like you at all. Just like you, huh? Why should I like you? I like my new friend now. My talking friend. Why doesn't your friend like me, Murky? She says it's because you're a doctor. She doesn't like that. Strange. Usually that's the only thing people like about me. Probably about right. Is the secret friend added to my journal just now? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Some friend of Murky's dislikes me. Uh, I, I always misremember the layout of this place somehow. You seem to have fallen off the t the, your bench there. And Stick's not here. I have everything but thread. Please tell me I have a thread in here and didn't misremember that. Ha. Huh. Okay. Upgraded inventory. Where did my... 
Oh, this new belt down here. Okay. I'm like, where's my where's my upgraded inventory? Alright. Uh that's a safety pin, thread, cloth, two sewing kits. Alright. We are gonna write this shit down. Cause I don't have any of these things right. Alright, so. Safety pin. Cloth. Red. Sewing kit. I'm giving myself, like, boxes to check off or fill in. Uh, and leaving two boxes for the sewing kit. Because that's how many we need. One of everything else, huh? Sa looks like the same cloth as last time. Look at all the space I've got. Ah ha ha. I essentially have like an herbs, an herb belt and a tincture belt so I can stop dropping them off potentially. Man, I'm, I might even keep schmatters in my inventory potentially just because of the fact that they're only one tile and they stack. I don't know how much they'll stack though, but like maybe I'll need them. I don't know. I might leave them here. They're so important and so small that it seems like reasonable that I could keep them here, but of course my goal is to not get people sick. And I'll probably come to this location once every day. At least once every day. Uh, so if somebody is actually in plague mode, then I could still come back and get my schmouter. I don't need to... I probably don't need to hold it on me at all times. That's my only pill, right? These are basically the kinds. I don't like that when I open my stash, I'm pretty sure that time is still moving when I'm looking at my when I'm looking at that menu. But not here. I'm not saying that I want this one to move too. I want I want every time I open a menu for time to stop so I can deal with that. Uh, this is just for repairs. My knife is fully repaired still, huh? I can use a whetstone to deal with my durability. Do I have a whetstone? I do not. Oh, I have a broken amp here. I'll be using more of these where I'm about to go anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have that's that okay. Let's get busy. It bo it bothers me that stuff just doesn't quite fit anywhere. You know they did that deliberately. You know they'd very deliberately set it up so that like the stuff that you'd want to potentially make all fit in certain sp spaces like nicely won't, because they want nothing. They want everything to feel inadequate on some level. 